Hey everyone, Ashen here. I wanted to make a little video and show you guys my newest GameCube portable, the Fusion Micro. The key switch. show you that the L and R buttons are fully working. Uh, Wind Waker requires the full potentiometer press on the LR buttons to function correctly. So you can see here. Oop, let's get this guy. He's supposed to say something to me. There he goes. Can zoom in on him. So everything's working pretty perfectly. And show you another neat little feature that I implemented. Um, <clears throat> I found out with my GameCube Fusion models that uh, certain games with this diamond shaped button setup, it's not really the way the uh, GameCube button setup was meant to be so for games like Mario Kart where you have to press the gas and use your special items at the same time it didn't really work out quite well with that setup you had to this would be your gas uh, and then you would have to like reach over so there's this nifty switch in the back that switches the A and B buttons so this can be A or B and vice versa so Uh, does it have a switching headphone jack in this model? Whoop. That was supposed to be Mario Kart. Guess I didn't quite get that. Anyway, you guys get the gist. You can see the headphones are working. The switch and the volume knob on this side. Power switch. Z button, of course L and R, and the home buttons and the plus and minus controls the screen, and the start button is actually the start button. Um, this does have a built-in SD gecko, so you can use the Wiki Fusion to load up Swiss and to boot um, all the old emulators. Oops, to switch my buttons back. SD geckos on this side. You can see right here. The card in, Wiki Fusion slot, and GameCube lid switch right there. And that is the switch that switches the A and B buttons. <clears throat> so we'll load up our SD gecko. Apparently I don't have any. There we go. So, there you have it. That's it. Pretty much in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.